Hi, uh, my name is uh, Julie Marie-Prépani. I'm the fondatrice of uh, Spastic Paraplegia Foundation. We are here to talk about this uh, illness. Dr. Wu, can you talk to us about Spastic Paraplegia? Yes, spastic Paraplegia is a genetic disease that affects primarily the legs. Usually it starts with some difficulties walking uh, and it progresses slowly, usually over many years, uh, to the point where the person will need to have a cane or uh, it could even go to the severity where the person is going to need a wheelchair. In addition to the legs, it affects the bladder in many people, and uh, we call it a spastic bladder, where people have a certain urgency, sometimes can have some incontinence. It rarely affects the arms, and when it does, it's usually very mild. When we examine the patient, we see something in the arms, but in fact, functionally, the arms uh, in the vast majority of patients remain completely normal their whole life. So, uh, spastic paraplegia can start at any age. They start if you have children, middle age, up to 60s and 70 years of age, progresses slowly. And uh, it's, it's important to realize it's not one disease, it's a group of diseases. There's at least, we suspect at least 100 genetic forms, or over 60 genetic forms identified uh, today. And so in this complexity of many different forms, in fact, we know, we see that many of the forms uh, affect the same systems in the cell. And so we're going from this many, many different forms to a few different systems in the cell that seem to be uh, very important in, in this disease. Uh, the most common form is SPG4, which uh, is, um, affects about half or almost half of the, of the autosomal dominant uh, group. Research has focused a lot on trying to understand the different genetic forms, because it's obviously very complicated if you have 100 different forms. And uh, that's really quite advanced. There's more to do, uh, but that's really quite advanced. So after the identification of the genes, it's to understand what, what the genes do and what is causing the disease, what's going wrong, which leads to this problem primarily with the, with the legs. And that's molecular biology, genetics, and using uh, different uh, animal systems. But you know what we really want to find is treatments for this disease. And in fact, there are two interesting uh, lines of investigation where uh, there are potential treatments for uh, SPG4, the most common form, that may very well also work to the, for the related forms around SPG4, which there are maybe 20 or more. So we formed in Canada uh, what we call CanHSP, which is a consortium of many different researchers in most provinces of Canada, and we have about 1,200 individuals uh, registered and identified. Uh, and this is really to understand the disease and to eventually, you know, test in different treatments. Uh, we've linked up to a world consortium, which is financed by an American group uh, that includes American, the American and uh, European groups and us, uh, with a total of about uh, over 10,000 uh, individuals. And the aim of this is again to develop clinical trials. So this is where we are. The genetics is very advanced and soon we'll have the different model forms identified. Biology is complicated moving forward, but in different groups of diseases. Uh, and, uh, you know, at the same time looking for treatments, which we have the potential ones, and then being able to test these treatments to see if they have. Thank you.